Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. I'm going to say it at the beginning before I start. Forgive me because I'm probably going to go kind of fast. Because I don't like not finishing my class. So I want to get through. And what time is it? We starting. Oh, no, we're not that bad. I might not have to go that fast. So we're going to go ahead and get started. As y'all see, the title of the class is Return, Ye Gods of the Earth. So you can think a few things from the, um, you could think a few things looking at the title, but this class is mainly a class to cite repentance and cite repentance. Uh, first uh. scripture uh, we're going to read, we're going to start with 2nd Ezra chapter 2. And verse uh second Ezra chapter nine and verse eighteen. Remember the title of the class is Return Ye Gods of the Earth. This is Second Ezra chapter nine and verse eighteen. And now when I prepared the world which was not yet made, even for them to dwell in that now live, no man spake against me. So so it says that when he prepared the world that was not yet made, that no man spake against me. What is that telling us? That we were always there. We was there in the beginning when the world was created. Read. Verse 19. For then everyone obeyed. But now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual sea and by a law which is unsearchable, rid themselves. So that's the, that's the main point that I wanted out of this, out of these two verses, is that we were there from the beginning. Christ, of course we know that Christ was the firstborn of the creation of God, but we were created as well. We was there. As the scripture says, it says, no man spake against him. How could we speak against him if we wasn't there? How could we all have obeyed if we was not there? We were there. Go from there. Go to Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. Now the, pur the purpose of this class is for us to actually realize fully, because we all, we, we all know that we are the Israelites. We all know, we, we all are in this truth, uh, striving and working to get ourselves right. But sometimes it may slip our minds who we really are and how important we are. So and, that's, and that's the purpose of this class, so that it incite that, that, that uh, zeal, whether it's still flaming, to keep it flaming, or if it had died out a little bit, to reignite it so that your zeal continues allow you to keep you in this walk, keep fighting, keep repenting, keep building your spirit up. Read what you got. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So as if, you, if you know Matthew chapter 6, when we, re when we um, read the prayer that Jesus, Christ that Jesus the Christ told us to pray, 
It says, your will be done in heaven as it is on earth. In heaven as it is on earth. That's just, this is basically what this is saying. He said, he's blessed us with spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Read. Verse 4. According as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. So we were chosen before the foundation of the world. And that's what you get when you read second, the second, in second Ezra chapter 9 and 18. We was chosen before the foundation of the world. So we were always the top nation. Read. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So being that we are chosen and we were chosen before the world, that's more, that's more of the reason for us to make sure that we are walking uprightly. Walking in accordance with God's laws. Doing what we're supposed to be doing. Because we have a, 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 a higher responsibility than any other nation because we are God's chosen people. We are God's chosen nation, the Israelites. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 17. Because the Most High said it. He said it in a couple of places. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 17. For the Lord your God is God of gods. He's a God of who? God of gods. And Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty, and a terrible, which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward. So the Most High God is not partial. And he said it, he says it very clearly. He says he's the God of gods. So he created us to rule over this earth. And right now we're not ruling over the earth because we broke his commandments. And we all know that very well. That's why we are here. That's why we are repenting. But we are the gods of the earth. We are the top nation of the earth. We are the ones that's supposed to be ruling. We supposed to be the head and not the tail. But we the tails. We the tail now because we turned away from our God. We turned our back on the Most High God. So now we living in the in the uh, in the pits. He says, God, I'm, he's the God of gods and the Lord of lords. Go to uh, Revelation 17 and 14. He said the same thing, precept upon precept. Revelation chapter 17 and verse 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is the Lord of lords and the King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. So we know that the Lamb is Christ. And it says, Christ is the Lord of lords and the King of kings. Saying the same thing we just read in Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Then it goes, it says, though, though they, are, they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. That's supposed to be us. So we established that we are the gods of the earth. Hence the class is return, you guys, of the earth. Because we was, we was created to rule over this earth. The only reason we are not ruling is because we chose to break God's commandments. We chose to do, we chose to, we were the, we the, God, we the gods of the earth. The earth was made for us and given to us. But we envied what other nations was doing and started following after their customers doing what they was doing. And lost our rulership. Because we was... Looking, looking and seeing what was going on with the other nations. Today, we're not supposed to do that. We, we, are, we have to return to our rightful place. And the way we're going to do that is by keeping God's commandments. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So saying this is saying the same exact thing. It's just saying it in different words. We, we, it says we, the Most High chose us to be a special people to him. And he says we are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. What's that? We the gods of the earth. We the top nation. When you look up the definition of God, I wasn't going to uh, look, look, look up the definition real quick. When we look up the definition of God. 
Definition of God. One, the one supreme being, the creator, and ruler of the universe. So we know that this definition is referring to the most high God because he's the creator of the universe. So he, he's, the, he's the God. He's the one true God that's the creator of the whole universe, but he made us in his image to have dominion over the, um, the earth. So we are the gods of the earth. And it shows, it says, we are above all people that's upon the face of the earth. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Read. Verse 7. The Lord did set his love upon you, nor read, choose read you. Read that be again. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. So it says he didn't choose us because we are more in number than any peoples. Because when you look in when you look in the history, when you look up, when you look through Genesis, we were very small. We wasn't even, a, really wasn't even a nation yet. He told, he promised Abraham that we was going to, that we, he was going to become a great and mighty nation. But he, he, we were chosen. Why? Because we was chosen before the foundation of the world. Um, we were chosen from the foundation of the world. Now go, Joe, go over to Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. Now, just thinking about that, when, when you just think about that, we was chosen above all nations that are upon the face of the earth. We are the gods of the earth. Just with that thought process, if this earth is yours, this earth was created for you, why would you steal? Why would you lie? Why would you commit adultery? Why would you worship or uh, worship the sun, worship the moon? Why would you do these things if you if, if the Most High made you a god of the earth? Because that's that's who you are. That's your identity. It's an identity crisis, which is why we live in the times we live now. If you if you recognize I'm the god of the earth, that's you won't stop doing things that damage your body, things that damage your life, damage your spirit. You're going to stop sinning when you realize who you are. You realize that the Most High chose you and made, he made you the gods of the earth. You're supposed to be ruling and reigning. So when you actually think about that, think about it real deep, you're not going to do, do the things that he told us not to do. Read what you got. This is Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. But Israel, for as a prince has thou power with God and with men, and has prevailed. So uh, let's just see what, see what was going on here. Jump up to 24. Genesis chapter 32 and verse 24. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. Uh -huh. Verse 25. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. So what we see here is Jacob wrestling with an angel of God, which was Christ. He's wrestling with the angel of God, and it says he's rest, he wrestled with a man until the breaking of day, meaning that Jacob was actually prevailing and actually he was actually showing forth some strength to be wrestling with him where he had the, his thigh taken, it said the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him, but he still was wrestling with him. Read. Verse 28, and he said, thy name. Read, read 26 again. Verse 26. And he said, let me go for the day breaker. And so, so Jacob is wrestling with him. And he said, as he wrestled with him, he said, let me go for the day breaker. And read. And he said, 
I will not let thee go except thou bless me. So Jacob said, I ain't letting you go until you bless me. Read. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. Uh-huh. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God and with men, and has prevailed. So this is where Jacob's name was changed to Israel, which we know means as a prince. It says, as a prince, thou hast power with God. Thereby further affirming that we are the gods of the earth. We are the Israelites. We are the greatest nation that stepped foot on this earth. But yet now today, I'm, I'm, many of us are living in the slums. We live in on a lower state. Even, even in times we come into the truth, we, sometimes we still uh, wrestle and battle with our sins. When we know, we, we're realizing and knowing, of course, things take time, but as, we, if you, as you think on it and think on it, we, the cho- we are the chosen. We are the God's chosen ch- people. We are the gods of the earth. So as you continuously meditate on that, continuously think on that, it should uplift your spirit. Like, man, why would I, why would I do go against what the what the Most High told me when He made me above everybody? All the things that we do, all the all the sins that we do are, is basically us wanting what other nations got. In a nutshell, it's idolatry. We looking at what other nations may be doing in heaven and not realizing that we have the world was made for us. It ain't, no, it ain't no purpose for us to, to do those things, partying, reveling, getting drunk, blacking out, doing all that stuff. Gods don't do that. We the gods of the earth. Go to uh, Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. So we, we have to re- recognize who we are and walk accordingly. And walk accordingly. Psalms chapter so, 82. So we're going here to see what happened to the gods of the earth. Why are we living the way we live in right now? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth